Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, as we gather to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first pause and call to mind our sins and ask God for his forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have been renewed by paschal remedies, transcending the likeness of our earthly parentage, may be transformed in the image of our heavenly maker through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, they raised their voices to God with one accord and said, Sovereign Lord, maker of heaven and earth and the sea and all that is in them, you said by the Holy Spirit through the mouth of our father David, your servant, why did the Gentiles rage and the peoples entertain folly? The kings of the earth took their stand and the princes gathered together against the Lord and against his anointed. Indeed, they gathered in this city against your holy servant, Jesus, whom you anointed Herod and Pontius Pilate, together with the Gentiles and the peoples of Israel, to do what your hand and your will had long ago planned to take place. And now, Lord, take note of their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with all boldness as you stretch forth your hand to heal and signs and wonders are done through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. As they prayed, the place where they gathered shook, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Why do the nations rage and the peoples utter folly? The kings of the earth rise up and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. Let us break their fetters and cast their bonds from us. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. He who is throned in heaven laughs. The Lord derides them. Then in anger he speaks to them. He terrifies them in his wrath. I myself have set up my king on Zion my holy mountain, I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Then the Lord said to me, you are my son. This day I have begotten you. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for an inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. You shall rule them with an iron rod. You shall shatter them like an earthen dish. Blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. 
There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God. For no one can do these these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, amen. I say to you, unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man once grown old be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, amen. I say to you, unless one is born of water and spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As we continue this Easter season, as we begin the second week of Easter, we just experienced yesterday Divine Mercy Sunday. And I know it was probably not the same as it usually uh, has been, but yet it was still an opportunity for us to encounter the incredible love and mercy of our Lord that he has for each of us, each of his beloved, for you and me. I was listening to a a podcast last week and the presenter made this comment. Do people, when they come to our parish offices, and this is probably when it's more normal, but when they come to our parish offices or when they encounter us as leaders, as pastors, as priests, as parish staff, do they encounter a nuclear powerhouse of prayer? We know the incredible amount of energy that comes from a nuclear power plant. And he simply asks, do people encounter that nuclear power place of prayer when they encounter us? It made me really challenge myself and even how I as pastor in our parishes, working with our office staff, And our parish leaders, are we that example? Do people experience that when they encounter us? And then we had this first reading today from Acts of the Apostles. What an incredible reading. At the end, we hear, as they prayed, the place where they were gathered shook. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. What a challenge. Do we speak the word of God with boldness? Do people who encounter us encounter a powerhouse of prayer? Does the house shake when we pray? I think it's a challenge for us because that's who we're called to be by our baptism. As we heard then in our gospel, as Jesus speaks to Nicodemus and says, Amen, Amen. I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh. What is born of spirit is spirit. That's why I've repeatedly said we have to understand the awesomeness of our baptism. What baptism really means. We've become a new creation. We died with Christ And as we rose out of the waters of baptism, just as Jesus rose from the dead, we rose to new life. We became a new creation. We became clothed in Christ. We became beloved sons and daughters of God. We became and called, we we became and we are called to be disciples. Disciples who are bold. Disciples who in their prayer, the house shakes. Disciples who are a nuclear powerhouse of prayer. Do people encounter that from us? 
My friends, we have been given this weird time that we're living in, but I will tell you, we have been given this blessed time. Our calendars, for the most part, have been cleared. We have time to pray like probably never before. Are we using that time? Are we using that time to enter into a conversation with our Lord? Are we using this time to enter and deepen our relationship with Jesus? My friends, let's use this time to the fullest to be bold and speak the word of God. Amen. Let us now offer to our Heavenly Father our prayers of petition for the church that we may continue to devote ourselves to the teaching of the apostles, to the breaking of bread, and to the prayers, praising God and earning the favor of all the people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Jesus, who on the first Easter Sunday met his apostles with the beautiful greeting of peace, may turn the hearts of national leaders to the acts of justice that will lead to peace in the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may obtain the blessing of those who believe without seeing Jesus, as we proclaim him to be our Lord and our God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Jesus, who gave his apostles the power to forgive sins, may renew and purify us through his mercy with all the cleansing power of his paschal sacrifice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are suffering through various trials, whose faith is being tested in the fire, that through Jesus they may emerge stronger and happier in his service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our faithful departed ones, that through the resurrection of Jesus, they may be brought into the inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intention of this Mass, which today I'm offering for the repose of the soul of Gerald Peterson. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we place our prayers before you this day. We ask that if it be your will that you hear and answer them through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church. And as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, 
but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Alleluia. Our prayer for an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Our prayer for the intercession of St. Joseph. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our tribulation through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin Mother of God and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus, we humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance of which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be propitious to us and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. And as once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, so now protect God's children from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection. Amen. Again, thank you for joining me on this Facebook Live Mass. I'll be back tomorrow at 1130 a.m.
God bless you.